Welcome back to the vlog, everybody. It's a beautiful day out here in Florida. The weather's finally breaking, humidity's dropping, and we have some fun stuff to do today in the car. I have a couple parts that I need to be uh, replaced. We're gonna take it down to my buddy's shop in Pinellas Park, Florida, and we might make another pit stop along the way. You guys are gonna come along with us. Welcome to the vlog, fellas. Welcome to Ibel Performance. John, As Kurt, that's Thaddeus. Yep, Thaddeus and Kurt. I haven't met you yet, Andrew. Nice to meet you, Andrew. Yep. And there's Lola. Yeah, Hello. good girl. Good girl. You want some? You want some coffee? Yeah. <laughs> nope. No, she likes to nap all day. So, why don't you give them a quick rundown of where you where you guys started and where you ended up? You guys used to work for Ferrari. Uh, yeah, I mean, I started as a Porsche mechanic at an independent shop in Orlando. Okay. Uh, moved to Ferrari, worked with him for many years at the Ferrari dealership. Yep. Um, Ferrari of Ferrari Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And what about you, Thaddeus? Uh, I worked there for eight years. I was shop foreman mm -hmm. at Ferrari Master Tech. Yep. And we had the opportunity to buy this place make our own thing so and you're That's probably good. doing a lot better and having a lot more fun oh yeah oh, for sure a lot more fun. let's yeah. go let's go take a look at uh what we're doing on this thing today okay so we got the cali 30 here today for new under sheet hardware because <laughs> hardware missing i don't know why uh yeah, you know it can't be because it's lowered and i go 55 miles an hour everywhere oh yeah so we got new clamps new speed nuts yeah New hard, actually new hardware with factory loctite lo <laughs> that gets stripped off <laughs> okay. actually there's a there's a letter in here any of you that own an exotic specifically a ferrari <laughs> make sure you take note of this site euro spares okay if you want to pay half so this is like a wholesaler for ferrari parts and you'll pay half of what you'll pay at the dealer yeah so definitely uh, and if you're going to build a relationship with guys like uh Kurt here, you're gonna really want to uh, invest in, uh, well, spending your money on other well, things. Well, you gotta spend your money wisely, you know. Yeah. <laughs> the, the whole name of the game is to keep these cars on the road at a reasonable budget. Uh huh. You know, it's still a Ferrari, but. Yeah, I mean, so can far. Still, we can still save money. Yeah, so far we've been doing good. Yeah. I mean, minus, you know, spending money on stuff I don't need, but hey, screw it. <clears throat> All right. That's the sports car life. It is. It is. Well, lift it. Yeah. And just inspect it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and inspect everything else, see if anything else is loose. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. There's the transmission and the cooler, which they added later for uh, 2013 and up. Looks like they have a leak going on there. Yeah, it's probably just like the O rings for the cooler pipes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. No big deal. Normal Ferrari crap. Yeah, and you know. It's not active, it's all just sweating. Okay. So it's all, it's all just oil vapor, really. Okay. We have, see, these are the valves for when the exhaust opens. We have those disconnected right now, so that's why my car sounds loud all the time. And here is the Ferrari Sport System that we installed. So that's actually an upgrade. So the whole rear bumper had to come off, and uh, yeah. That was a long day. Actually, all this had to come off because there's a new mid pipe. This was a beautiful stainless look. Uh, so all this has been replaced, which is why the car sounds the way it does. And uh, Kurt and Daddy's did all that work as well. Dude, look how monster these tires are. It still makes me crack up. 
I mean, you said yourself, this is like the largest width tires you've ever seen on one of these. Yeah, that's the widest tire ever on California. Uh, yeah. Remember when we put them on, we're like, well, I hope they clear everything. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can look up there. for a 599. <laughs> right. But for everyone out there, 599 wheels fit on in California. Ah. Yeah. 315 width. I mean, that's a, that's a fatty. Chris, taking a look at the uh, engine mounts. So the engine mounts on the California, and actually, what other Ferraris come with these um, mounts? They started on the 612. Mm -hmm. with this hydraulic mount to reduce engine vibration. So it's basically like filled with fluid? Yeah. And it helps with the damping of a flat plane crank engine? Correct. Yeah. But you mainly only feel it at idle. You know, when right. the engine's off yeah. idle, it's right. balanced. You know, so it's most inefficient running parameters idle, and that's when right. it's most, you know, right. apparent that engine mounts are not working as right. well as they can, but they're not leaking externally. You know, they're not separated. They're not a safety concern. Telltale it, sign for somebody who has one of these would be what, leaks? Well, no, leaks, I don't see them leak. Okay. Until I tear them apart. Okay. You know, when I drop the subframe and mm -hmm. you know, you're actually pulling against them. Okay. Is, is when they really start to leak. Okay. But they do that because they are worn. Okay. Um, telltale sign is just if a customer doesn't like the little bit of roughness at idle and then it'll smooth it out for a little while yeah, you can turn the ac on and it kicks the idle up and if the engine smooths out you then know, you know it's getting that's that's one of the signs that, okay that your engine mounts are are starting not to perform as well as they should okay not necessarily that you know they're a safety concern like on 360s and 430s it's just a rubber pad okay it just <clears> rots the, out yeah and, and the, the pad the rubber is bonded to a steel cone okay and they separate, oh, so okay. they literally aren't connected anymore. Okay, so that's, when it becomes, <laughs> that's a safety concern. That's when it becomes a safety concern. You know, your engine's not going to fall out, right? But it's going to clack back and forth, right? It's additional vibration and stress on the drivetrain. Okay, so Which a lot you do of times, not want. well, that's a lot of times why we see you know exhaust manifolds breaking and okay. and things like that okay. on that style of car. Okay, <clears throat> cool. So mine are good to go. Oh yeah, you're fine. Awesome. Uh, the that right side. side, yeah, the right side. Look at that practical yeah. exotic. Look at all that trunk space. What are you doing over here? Oh, just working on a Testarossa, doing a time belt major service, mm -hmm. uh, changing, move the engine, take the time belts, adjust all the valves, reseal everything. Cool. Just regular maintenance. Regular maintenance. Regular maintenance. Uh, engine out. Yeah, that's why I'll never own one of those. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay to my, uh, you know, poor man's Ferrari. All it requires is uh, oil changes and brake fluid flushes, transmission flush every once in a while, and accessory belts. No uh, other than that, that's pretty much all there is to it. So ours is done. Uh, they just replaced the uh, reverse light and all the aero panel bolts, and we replaced some bolts underneath the um, hood that were kind of stripped out. Let's, uh, let's take them to the next location, which is a surprise.
Doing what? Let me in. What's up, buddy? Hey, buddy. Hey, look what I got. Nice. Food. Say hi, Matt. Hey, man. <laughs> Say hi, Jay. Hey, look at that new fancy ass Isn't camera. Isn't that nice? What is that? Yeah, it's, it's a, a yeah. It's a uh, DJI Osmo 3 with an iPhone 11 Pro on it. Wow. It takes pretty good video, Very huh? Cool. Yeah. So is it running all three cameras, or does it use a different camera? It uses a different one each time. Huh. Yeah. Does it automatically know what to do? Yeah, like right here. Here, I'll look at Andrew here. Hi, guys. Hey, hey what's yeah. up? And then you can track them, right? Oh, wow. Move. Mm. Dude, that's Isn't that nice. cool? That's awesome. <laughs> one eternity later. All right, man. We're out. All right, brother. See you, Thanks, man. for sure. Good meeting you. Yes, sir. All right, Matt. All right, see you guys. It's a pleasure. For sure, bro. All right. Pound Good me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys. Wow, this has been a, this has been a long day for show. Uh, now, uh, I guess it's time to go home. Where are we going? Where are we at? I think it's time to wrap it up. It's, time, it's been a day. We came out to Matt, Matt and Jay's shop, gave them some love. Uh, they're actually going to do a full remodel, so we're just kind of showing you around what it looks like. So they're over here off of, what is this, 4th Street in St. Pete? Yeah. And so really good guys. Uh, they'll give you the best deal ever if you're in the market uh, for the forbidden fruit of YouTube. But uh, <laughs> um, no, we had a good time today at Kurt's shop. Those guys are super knowledgeable. They know exactly what they're doing. And I believe Kurt's gonna bring some cars out to the Davis Island Cars and Coffee, which is a DuPont Cars and Coffee event. It only happens uh, once a year out at the airport they close the airstrip down i believe and they line up all the cars so that's the next time you're going to see andrew and i until then make sure to click that like and subscribe channel and we'll see you next time gopro stop recording gopro stop recording <laughs> oh, man my head's about to explode <laughs> stop it my whole life sucks! <laughs> stop recording! I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where I'm going. GoPro! Stop! <laughs> he, it's just the exhaust. I feel like I'm talking to Alexa here. Alright, just you try. GoPro, stop recording. Every time I drive down the road, I want to jerk the wheel into a goddamn bridge in Buntman. I can't. Stop recording.